I've gotten a lot of questions about Android apps that you guys wanted to see if they kind of work on the Supernote platform. And I've downloaded a bunch. These are some of the ones that I've been using and some of them are also apps that you guys requested. So I wanted to try some of them. And by the way, these are just apps I've tried. If uh, you would like to see more, then drop them down in the comments and I'll perhaps do a part two where I take user requests and try and see how viable they are on the Nomad. If you wanna learn how to sideload apps, I would recommend Brandon Boswell or Organizing for Change. Ed did a good video too there. And APK Mirror and APK Pure are two good trusted sources to get APK files from. I'll link those below as well. First, I wanted to get into some of the readers. So we'll do readers, productivity, games, and then I'll talk about some other ones I've tried at the end. This is Libby here, and Libby works well. If you're not aware, I believe you can actually get this through your public library sometimes. So I got a library card and was able to just log in and have full access to this. It works rather well. The only downside I've seen of this is that you do need to kind of be connected to the internet for it, but the visibility is very good and just access to thousands of kind of magazines, books. Uh, I think there's some comics too. And I believe there's audiobooks as well. All right, so we have it in pairing mode now. I'm gonna go to the Bluetooth settings, scan. And we can see JBL go three here. So connected, now we'll go back to Libby. Street Books and Harper Audio present The Storyteller, Tales of Life and Music. Written and read by yours truly, Dave Grohl. So you can see it works well with audiobooks if you were wondering. Hoopla is another one. There are comics, eBooks, and like the Libby app I was talking about is something that you can probably get through your library and they have rental periods. So once the rental period's gone, it goes away, but you can re-rent it. And I believe you can even watch um, some movies on this on your phone or your laptop too. So Hoopla gets the stamp of approval here. And then CoReader is a pretty popular one that I think has pretty good sync on Android devices. And I've tried PDFs on here. They work just fine. And then ebooks work very well here too. I actually find they're a bit quicker almost than the Kindle app. So it seems to have pretty good support here. And there's a lot of kind of formatting you can do, image scaling and word spacing and, and all that. Pretty customizable in general. Space Desk actually works decently well. You can see I'll, I'll put it on my laptop and you can transfer it over to the Supernote. Here's an example of maybe when your laptop's a little glary or you're outside and you wanted to read something simple on the Supernote. Uh, a little slow in moving things and there's a, you know, a little bit of ghosting, but if you're just reading a document or an article like this, it seems to work relatively fine. I wouldn't want to do anything that's too visually intensive over here. If you're interested in Obsidian or Notion, uh, Notion I haven't really played around with, so I'll, I'll probably try that at some point. But Obsidian, Ed from Organize for Change, and Vlad Campos, uh, another YouTuber, I think did some videos on those, and so I'll link those below. I don't really use Obsidian, but it seems like they've tried it and had some, some luck with it. And then Anki Droid here. This is a user request I got from a viewer, and it is kind of like a flashcard animation app. But let's go here, you can see study. So I only, I only put one card just to test, but you can do show answer, and then it'll show you the flashcard of the data you enter. And you can log in here to your Anki web account as well. So if you've already done it on your phone or your tablet of some sort, then you can just have it all transferred into the Supernote here. And then PenUp is a kind of app that I have on my Galaxy device. And so I was just curious to try it, but it seems like it's just not calibrated and just really slow, right? That, that latency is horrendous, so I don't think you'd really be able to draw anything meaningful on this. And it just seems to add extra stuff as well. 
And then another app I was interested in trying for drawing is Sketchbook. I use Sketchbook a lot on my phone, but on this, there is incredible delay as well. So I'm on the pencil here and it just comes through way fainter than you would expect. Uh, so I was kind of really hoping to have like cool layers and be able to import images, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna work at all on this. In case you were wondering about drawing apps, Atelier is just better and designed for this. Now for some games, obviously this doesn't have any like super refresh technology, so ghosting will be an issue on some. So I chose kind of three games here that I play relatively regularly. The first one is chess. Now because chess is a much more kind of static game, it does work decently on this. And I had tried a few other chess apps, but they didn't work super well. So I will link this one below if you're interested in playing a chess game on here, but you can refresh during the app usage as well. Another one is Sudoku. Sudoku is actually a really kind of pleasant experience on here. It's just really easy to use and you can use like the pencil setting as well. But yeah, these more static games are a little more apt for something that's e-ink, but they're kind of like semi-intellectual games. I don't really feel like these games go against the ethos of Supernote because, I don't know, let's say you're on a plane and you're just a little bored of reading or writing and you just want to play a simple easy game that uh, is a little more cerebral, then this is a cool option. And then a different one I found, my friend had showed me this on the iPad once, so I downloaded it out of curiosity, but seems to work decently well, is Hidden Folks. And this one, you're basically like, you're trying to find hidden things. And so they, they have these light animations, but the animations actually are a little choppy in the game. So they look pretty cool on this uh, and it's, just a fun game, kind of mindless. It's almost like a, like a Where's Waldo, but a little trickier because there's more stuff you have to go into and you're not just looking at it. One thing you'll notice if you're using a lot of Android apps is that your battery will drain pretty quickly. So for this, because I was testing a bunch, I left a lot of them open and it severely drained the battery. But in typical use cases, you're probably using like one or two of them. So I don't think it'll be that bad. But yeah, those are the apps I've tried so far on the Superno Nomad. The Libby and Hoopla, I believe they're I know in Libby, there's a way to send stuff to your Kindle app. So if you didn't want to use Libby, you can also use it in Kindle. But if you guys have any questions about these, or if you have some other ones you want me to try, leave them in the comments and I will try to get that in part two. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.